So this is my helper. She's a pretty good helper. Um, I always figure it's okay to give your baby a, a spoon, as long as it's not a sharp spoon. And we got some microwaved pizza here. A microwaved uh, pizza corner. The sausage pepperoni uh, Canadian bacon. Dun dun. Dun dun. I usually take a buck knife to do this. Oh, right into the schedule book. Isn't that nice? Like that. Uh -huh. Crust is always hard. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Now we're chopping with peanut oil. And then I do band pieces because I'm a big boy. Yeah. And then rinse off the grease like so. Just like that. That's so oddly satisfying. Uh, okay. I made a smoothie earlier. Oh, I love smoothies. How's that spoon treating you? You know what we should do? A, let's make a ah. fort. What do you say? Let's make a fort. That sounds good. I'm going to go in here. Ann bought me this. So, um,. Should be nummy. So we're gonna go ahead and build a fort. Uh, I'm gonna teach you guys the proper fort building techniques um, for doing the fort building. And there you have it. Now, here's the doorway, as you can tell. If you walk in here, and you can see there's there's no roof, but to a kid, this well, I mean, I mean, if it if it ever was to rain, uh, you could get under under this part here. Um, uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a good shelter. Uh, this is the uh, emergency escape route that uh, I can't fit in by. You know, I, there's no there's no way that no there's no way that's happening. Um, but that's to the back room where we keep the chickens. Um, yeah, we got pillows. Uh, this could be a little crevice for uh, where you get your mail. Uh, you know, and then uh, uh, extra shelving over here. Uh, you know, this this could be a potential sneak out point where you flip this up and you shoot people for whatever if you'd ever want to shoot somebody. And um, and now the fort is collapsing on me um, because I made fun of it. But that's how you build a fort. Product review. Generally speaking, if you have a bigger speaker cabinet, you're going to get bigger sound. So that's what I'm hoping for here. It's from a company called Fluence. So it's got Bluetooth and a couple of other ways to interface with it. And you could connect it to a home theater. You could just use it as a fancy looking Bluetooth speaker. It's completely up to you. So let's get it out of the box and then take a listen. You can get it, I believe, in a wood finish, black finish. I think it might come in white as well. Some accessories, a few cables. Ooh, user guide. Look, those look fancy. Whoa, more accessories. Oh, wow. Mine is like a, it's like a dark wood color. Oh. That's massive. Look at that. With the wood finish? You kidding me, Jack? That's a good look. Oh, this whole piece comes off magnetically. Look at that. So you can remove the grill if you prefer the look without. So I guess since the back is facing you, I might as well talk about the inputs. A power input here, on and off switch, USB charging for a USB device, you can see the Bluetooth logo over there, auxiliary in, optical digital in, and then even radio if you want to listen to radio. Look at the Canadian flag! And I spin it around here, and look at this beauty. You can have the grill on like that, if you like the more understated appearance, but then you can peel this off and you can get the look like that. That might be more my style. Look at this. 
Whoa. I could be right through it. Do the video from in here. This thing has a mount on the bottom and then a large pedestal. Elevates it up off the ground to a better listening height. They included the antenna for radio, power cable to get it juiced up, an auxiliary cable for wired connections, a remote control to control it. That's a nice touch. Independent settings for treble and bass. So you do at least have the ability to make some adjustments. That's a nice little touch. This thing's about to blow your minds. The microphone, this is you. You're on this little microphone right over here. You hear that scratchy? That's you. You're about to get direct impact. I think this guy is gonna be popular in home entertainment units as well. And that's where the optical port comes in. You can send the optical out from your flat panel TV and all of a sudden, everything you're watching on that display through all those various HDMI inputs are gonna come through here on that television optical audio out. I assume these are capacitive. Let's check it out, let me try one. Oh yeah, there you go. This will change the input. Here's the settings button. Play pause, forward, back, and then volume up and volume down. Let's hear this thing. That's what you're here for. Connected. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So we get a little volume on here. Ho, 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 ho. Is that the loudest one yet? That's the loudest one yet. It's the best Bluetooth speaker I've ever heard, period, hands down. New champion. Bluetooth speaker because you're getting loose after a long day of work and then you got Bluetooth speaker because you want to upset your neighbors you got a Bluetooth speaker where you could get a sound complaint and trust me that's the type of Bluetooth speaker you want because if you don't have a sound complaint chances are you don't know how to party not like Jack not like Ryan not like Tom. Not like me. <laughs> 